A lot of people have opinions and a lot of people want to say a lot of things. Here's, here's the reality. I'm human, I've made mistakes. I've made peace with those mistakes and I've come clean on those mistakes. You'll notice he said he's come clean on those mistakes. Not all of his mistakes, not all of his crimes, just the ones we've already uncovered. Um, it would be nice if he would just lay it all out, a tell all, an expose, maybe a Hulu show or something. Because somehow, I don't know how, he has more crimes in his past, or at least alleged crimes. And we're gonna give you the details today. Um, this is uh, there's multiple genres of George Santos crimes. This is the dog category of crimes because apparently back in 2017 he was charged with theft after $15,000 worth of bad checks in his name were used to purchase puppies from dog breeders. Just days after the checks were made out for quote puppies, according to the memo lines, George Santos held an adoption event at a Staten Island pet store with his animal rescue charity Friends of Pets United. According to the store's Instagram account and a person who attended the event. So one of the bounce checks was written out to a Jacob Stoltzvus, a dog breeder in Burdenhand, Pennsylvania, in the amount of $775 for a puppy and dated November 22nd, 2017, according to a copy of the check. Just three days after that check is dated, Santos's animal charity Friends of Pets United held a puppy adoption event at the Staten Island pet store, Pet Oasis. Now, in his defense, all theft charges against him were dropped and his record was expunged, at least his United States record, the Brazil one is outstanding, after he reported that his checkbook had been stolen. But his behavior surrounding his involvement in adoption events remains controversial. We're gonna give you more details on that. But I just do wanna note, the world is a complex place, anything can happen. But if your checkbook were to be stolen, it seems weird that it was used in fraudulent ways, to buy things directly relevant to your plans for the weekend. Like it's not like they went out and bought a car or something. They bought the thing you're doing an adoption event for. Why would they do that? I don't know, I'm trying to make sense of it. Waz, what do you think? This guy is truly remarkable in his fraudulence. <laughs> Just the idea that <laughs> he's writing bad checks. That's like the original fraud. This is like Leonardo DiCaprio, catch me if you can mm -hmm. stuff. A fraud, like, like it's not enough to lie about going to NYU. Stuff that's just like verifiable. That's the the bad part about his lies. It's not like somebody goes to like Tibet and they say they met a monk who taught them the meaning of life or whatever. It's like nobody could check that and nobody would even try. But like NYU, they could just call. Yo, <laughs> did this guy go there? No, like it, it's just mind boggling. So the fact that we're in the bounce checks fraudulent checks portion of this guy's fraudulent career is, is, is just amazing, honestly. Hmm. It also makes me hate lawyers because I guess in the story he had a lawyer back in 2017 who somehow convinced the Pennsylvania State Police to let it go. She attested that, oh yes, he had four checkbooks and one of them was stolen. And so, you know, let's expunge this. If the lawyer had bothered to realize that no, these are hot checks for, as you said, John, the very puppies that he was involved with as part of an auction the next few days, she might have said, you know what, I'm your lawyer, but I'm not gonna represent you on this one because, you know, I'm concerned about my own reputation. Mm -hmm. um, this thing stinks, and and never mind, you know, the puppies. There's also, of course, the story you might get into about the 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 veteran who had a GoFundMe page, and and he stole money from the veteran, and the dog died. I mean, when you start, yep. it, I think a lot of Americans will forgive you for your lies, for making up stories, for making up things about your resume. But when you start doing things that hurt animals, household pets yeah, and cats, you are in deep trouble. And I think that's why George Santos um, doesn't recover from this. I agree. Yeah, yeah, we have talked about, and you should, everyone should remember that he uh, allegedly stole thousands of dollars that was intended to go towards treating a dying dog's cancer. Instead, the money disappeared <laughs> and the dog died. Uh, that's a fun series of sentences to be forced to say by your elected representatives. But anyway, look, I, I am a regular person. I am not a detective by trade. I'm not even an amateur like Charlie Kane on Poker Face or anything. I just look at what I see. And so here's a guy who suffers a crime, his checkbook is stolen, and the person goes and buys dogs when he's gonna do an adoption event in a few days. Okay, that's one coincidence. He's a guy who allegedly fled Brazil for committing check fraud. So it's kind of similar to this whole same thing. And um, I don't know, it just, 
it kind of kind of seems like too much at a certain point. There's one other detail, by the way, add this. And bear in mind, this apparently wasn't Santos, I don't know. The New York Times reported <laughs> this week that Santos had an unusual request for the pet store owner after an adoption event at Pet Oasis, okay? He asked Avasado, Daniel Avasado, to make a check with the proceeds out to his name instead of the name of the charity. Avasado said he refused, but later noticed when he looked at his bank records that the check had been changed to the way Santos wanted it. Okay, so someone stole his checkbook to go buy dogs fraudulently that they wouldn't pay for. The dogs apparently were acquired, I guess, because he had the event that he then wanted to be personally paid for. The store owner very reasonably thought, well, that's weird. I'm working with a charity, so I'm not gonna do that. And then it gets changed anyway by a guy who, again, has already faced accusations of check fraud. How is this a thing that the New York Times is only investigating? How is this not a thing that the cops are investigating? I don't know what you could add to this to make it more suspicious at this point. He is just the ultimate super villain. This is this is you you can't put this in a movie. People would be like, "All right, come on. This guy's too cartoonishly evil and and insane." But like here we are with this Santos story. At first when it was just like, "Oh, he lied about his name and he flubbed his background. It's some fake activist, right-wing gays or whatever." Like, you know, that's stupid and you know, you should be who you say you are. And it's like, "All right, cool." Now he's bouncing checks and getting puppies killed and it, it just <laughs> this is too much. It's it's truly too much. Yeah, and I go back and forth between thinking, "Okay, we've got the Freedom Caucus and then we have the Clown Caucus." And some days I think Marjorie Taylor Greene is the chair of the Clown Caucus, and then George Santos. Another shoe drops with him. I'm thinking, no, 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 it's it's George Santos. The, the fact of the matter is, for people who are following the politics of this, um, this is, I think, one of the reasons why Republicans are trying to, you know, they're stripping Santos from committees. There's a growing movement to try to get him out of Congress. They know that the longer George Santos and Marjorie Taylor Greene, for that matter, are out there and are looked at as evil, lunatic, sociopathic, fringe type of people, that is terrible for Republicans. It's great for Democrats. So if you're a Democrat. Just hope George Santos keeps hanging in there. Yeah. <laughs> and and I'm not gonna lie, John, I'm always surprised when Republicans find some level of all right, even this is too ugly for us. <laughs> I, I mm -hmm. remember when you know the great Steve King from Iowa insinuated that the only people that had ever invented anything that of any use ever were European whites, <laughs> and they were like, "All right, Steve King, like you know, we love the white people, but this is kind of <laughs> a bridge too far." Um, yeah, George Santos is finally reaching that threshold of like embarrassment that even Republicans feel shame for. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. We have one other person who is, for the first time in a very long time, actually demonstrated some shame. I'll have that for you in a second. I just this is more of a question for the audience. Um, I don't run a dog charity, although that seems fun. Maybe I'll switch over to doing that. When I think dog charity, what I think is like raise money for a vet's dying dog's cancer. I don't then think you steal the money, but the, the setup for it sounded good. What I don't think is go to dog breeders, buy dogs, take them to pet stores and sell them. <laughs> that's not a dog <laughs> charity, that's a dog business. Am I wrong? I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe this is a, a totally normal fundraising thing. That just seems like you're selling dogs at a profit. Well, you know, John, I mean, Santos did, I mean, create the Chihuahua breed and the poodle breed, and he's got, you know, so he's got a long history of being an expert on dog. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. Scientists could only invent a chow. He's the one who got to the second chow. Okay. He broke the chow barrier. In any event, you know how bad it's gotten for him? So uh, he told Newsmax on Thursday evening that after Mitt Romney uh, chewed him out, calling him a sick puppy and stuff, um, trying to put it in terms he'd understand, uh, <laughs> he started to walk away and Kirsten Cinema told him, hang in there, buddy. Uh, Santos added that she was very polite, very kind hearted, unlike Romney, who he claims has always had prejudice towards minorities. Okay, so that was a nice moment where I, that could be true. I don't put anything past it. So uh, Kirsten Cinema was nice to him. Kirsten Cinema, by the way, is one of the most blatant tools of the one percent in corporations that we've ever had in government. She is totally brazen about it. Okay, she doesn't care when she when she tries to stop the minimum wage from going up. She gives like meh, like she does not care. She has no shame. 
But when she heard that Santos had said that, she denied it, saying that it's a lie, they never spoke. That's how toxic he is. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Now, even cinema doesn't want anything to do with them. Wow, it's amazing. Yeah. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.